3 Reasons Why Early Risers Can Be More Your Successful In Life We all go to bed at night and we all wake up in the morning. Each day you can, seize the day and create your life. Each day you can have a, do-over, of sorts. Every morning you have the opportunity to rise early excited to begin your day. However, that, s not how morning looks to everyone. Many of us sleep late, and feel like we are playing catch-up all day. It's pretty common for people to hit the snooze button more than once in the morning. Yet, for some of the most successful people their morning starts early because they are aware that it gives them an advantage in their life. So while you are enjoying those last vivid dream minutes someone else is up and already reading, working, exercising, meditating, etc. Tim Cook, Apple's CEO is up at 4.30 AM Let's look at why waking early gives you better odds at success in your life. 1. In the morning you have stronger willpower. Your willpower is a limited resource and by the end of the day it is running low. That means you have a greater chance of dealing with challenges earlier in the day because you will have more willpower, so manage it well. 2. The tone for the day is set with your morning rituals. When you get up early you have time to journal, read, exercise, etc. all of which determine how you are going to feel for the rest of the day. Create positive energy in the morning will change how you act and engage throughout the day. 3. In the morning you are more focused with fewer distractions. The quiet morning hours let you take care of your top priorities before everyone else's priorities find their way into your day. You can use the early morning to set your goals, plan what your day is going to look like and even solve problems. You are much more likely to be highly productive. Perhaps there is some truth to the saying, the early bird catches the worm. You can see why early risers might enjoy a more successful life. So what are you going to opt for? More beauty rest and less success or more success and less sleep? It's up to you. 4 Ways to Create an Attitude of Gratitude How do you look at life? Do you find yourself complaining about every little thing? Do you have a long list that goes on and on and on? Job stress, friend problems, family that's done, you wrong, the weather, and on it goes. What you may not realize is that if you wake up in the morning and you find something to complain about that's pretty much how your day is going to go. You may have already heard of the law of attraction, which simply says that what you focus on and where you put your energy is what you are going to get. In other words, you create your reality. What would happen if instead of waking up complaining, you opened your eyes and gave thanks for your life? Just that little shift in your attitude from complaining to gratitude can make you more aware of the pleasures in your life and all the blessings that surround you. Gratitude will put your day-to-day -day experiences into perspective. When you view the good and the bad, you will be able to move past the constant complaining. Let's look at four ways to do that. Number 1 Start your own gratitude journal You should set aside a few minutes at the end of your day to write down three or four things you are grateful for. It can be as simple as you woke up this morning or as complex as something that happened during the day. Writing down what you are grateful for can help you realize how blessed you are. Number 2 Take time to stop and smell the roses Start to handle your day differently than you have been. Take a minute to stop and smell the roses. In other words, stop rushing through your day. Stop yourself before you become overwhelmed and the negative feelings start to take hold. Stop, breathe, look around. Find something beautiful to absorb. Nature is always great but if you are nowhere near nature, perhaps there's a child, a piece of art, etc. that catches your attention. Focus on it and breathe. Number 3 Turn a negative into a positive This can feel difficult. However, if you can achieve it you will benefit greatly. Before you allow yourself to get upset, stop yourself, and think it through with a positive attitude. You might have to meditate on it, you might have to get yourself into a calm state before you address the situation, whatever it takes. Take a minute to look for the good in the situation. Number 4 Make a compliment Share kindness with those around you. Say something nice to a stranger or a friend. Spread the love and lift up another human being. You will make their day and yours too. 4 Ways to Create an Attitude of Gratitude It's really not that hard. 6 Self-Improvement Tips You Want to Use There are all kinds of self-improvement tips floating around. Some are pretty common, some are out in left field, and some are not so common. Here are 6 self-improvement tips you want to use implement and enjoy the benefits. 1. Develop a new habit. 
Some ideas for developing a new habit are things like deciding to exercise, reading a new book, deciding to get up early each morning, learning how to meditate, quitting smoking, etc. The list is endless. A new habit should be something that's going to improve you. Remember, it takes time for your new habit to feel natural so be patient. 2. Write a personal development blog. You can help others grow and self-improve by sharing your journey with them. In addition, when you are blogging about your self-improvement journey there are expectations placed on you by your readers and you will feel the pressure to hold up your end. This will help you to be more successful. It's a win-win for you and your readers. 3. Learn how to deal with difficult people. There are going to be difficult people in your life. You won't always be able to avoid them so you need to learn how to deal with them. It will go a long way in giving you peace of mind. They will have minimal effect on you when you learn how to deal with them. 4. Stay away from negative people. Wherever you go, there are bound to be at least a few negative people. Avoid them whenever possible, because their negative attitude will drag you down and that's not what you want. Instead, seek out those with a positive, upbeat attitude. 5. Take a lesson from your friends. Your friends have amazing qualities that you can tap into and learn from. Each of your friends and family are going to have unique qualities and if you are wise, you can learn a lot from them. Think about your good friends right now. What is just one quality each of them has that you would like to have? How can you learn this skill? Speak to them if you need to and ask them for their help. 6. Start a journal. Creating a journal is an excellent way to become more self-aware. It's a process of self-reflection. As you write, you are clarifying your thoughts and you will gain more insights about yourself. You can create a private journal for your eyes only or you can blog it, which we already talked about. These six self-help tips are worth plugging into your day-to-day -day lives. You'll be glad you did. Six things you should do to improve yourself so you've decided the time has come to work on yourself. Good for you. We can all use a little self-improvement. Here are six things you should do to improve yourself. Number one, fall in love with your passion if you want to be happy, fall in love with what you are passionate about. Give yourself permission to love, whether that's something you are doing, such as working with at-risk children, or it's falling in love with your soulmate. We have only so many years in this life and what could be better than spending some of that time doing something you are passionate about or with someone you love. Do what you love, be with who or what you love, live for your passion. You will grow immensely and you will be happy. Number 2 Make someone else happy Why not make it your goal to make someone happy every day? It can be something as little as a smile and asking someone how their day is going or complimenting them. You might do someone a favor or you might help someone with a project. What you will discover is when you make someone else happy, you also become happier. Number 3 Step up and do your part Everyday tragedy happens and our first responders are there to handle them. But you can also do your part. What about the dog that's running down the road in harm's way or the child that's wiped out on their bike and is on the sidewalk crying? What about the elderly person that's fallen or the friend that's had too much to drink? Step up and do your part to help someone else, whether you know them or not. Number 4 Gratitude We can easily forget what we have to be grateful for in our day-to-day -day lives. Every morning and at the end of every day give at least two things that you are grateful for that day. You can express your gratitude verbally or you can create a gratitude book where you write it down. End every day on a positive, life-affirming note. Number 5 Keep it neat Did you know that a tidy environment will also keep your mind clear? As a result, you will be more productive and you will also have more control over your life. Interestingly, this self-improvement tip is often overlooked and yet it can have such a profound effect on you. Number 6 Surround yourself with good people Find people to hang out with that have a positive attitude and a love for life. Find those who express gratitude for what they have. Associating with these kinds of people will have a positive effect on how you act and think. Having friends that make love and respect you is powerful. 7 Great Tips for Self-Improvement if you are working on your self-improvement, these seven great tips should be added to your list. These aren't the typical tips you get. Are you ready? 1. Reduce how much time you spend on chat programs. Chat programs result in tons of wasted time, which you can spend on better activities. Disable the auto start feature in chat programs and only launch them when you have spare time or you really need to chat. 
2. Get yourself a coach. If you want to improve the fastest way to do so is to have a coach work with you to create your goals. Your coach can help to guide you, however, ultimately it is up to you to make your own decisions. 3. Turn off the television. It is a very liberating experience to stop watching television. You'll free up time that you can use for more constructive purposes like spending time with your good friends, getting fit or working on your business plan. There is very little that TV actually has to offer that will stimulate your brain. 4. Learn how to play chess. Chess is a great game for you to learn how to create strategies and how to sharpen your brain power. You can have a little fun while you exercise your brain and build your analytical skills. 5. Start a 30-day challenge. Set a goal for yourself and then allow 30 days for you to achieve it. It doesn't matter what the challenge is. It's more about sticking to it and achieving your goal. 6. Meditate. The use of meditation can calm you and make you more aware. It helps to focus and center you. Many who meditate before bed require less sleep. Meditation has much to offer you on your self-improvement journey. 7. Join Toastmasters. It's time to learn the art of public speaking, which is the number one fear of many. You can learn a lot about better communication, the best way to present yourself and how to communicate with others. Toastmasters is an international organization that trains people in the art of public speaking. There you have it 7 great tips that can help you with your self-improvement. 7 tips you likely haven't heard before. So what are you waiting for? Self-improvement is an excellent undertaking and a great way to improve, you, for your own benefit. 8 Top Tips for Self-Improvement So you've decided to spend some time on self-improvement, congratulations. It's nice to have a little help. Here are 8 top tips that should be on the list of self-improvement goals. 1. Befriend top people in their fields. These people have achieved their results because they have the right attitudes, skill sets and know-how. How better to learn than from the people who have been there and done that? Gain new insights from them on how you can improve and achieve the same results for yourself. 2. Let it go. Let your past go. If you are carrying unhappiness from the past or a grievance from the past you need to let it go so that you can move forward. Holding on to this old baggage stops you from moving on. 3. Be kind to others, show compassion and kindness to others. Sadly, the majority of us spend far too little time being nice to other human beings. By being kind it will help to grow the qualities of love, patience and compassion. 4. Start a business. This can be a scary undertaking but there is so much growth that can happen that it is certainly worth considering. Is there something that interests you? If you said yes, why not make it a money-making proposition? Start a new venture and learn how to run a business at the same time you make some extra money. You'll develop skills like self-discipline, management, leadership and organizational skills. 5. Reach out to those you hate. If you stand for what you believe there's a good chance you will have haters. It's easy to hate those who hate you. It's a much bigger challenge to love them back. Learn to forgive, let it go and show love and forgiveness. 6. Take a break. If you have been working too hard it's time to take a break. Self-improvement includes recognizing your need for some downtime. Relax and charge yourself. 7. Every day read a personal development article. There are tons of great personal development blogs out there. Take the time to read at least one article a day. Learn and grow from it. 8. Commit to personal growth. You can likely make a long list of growth you would like to achieve, so write it down, make a list and commit to it. Make it happen. 10 Tips for Self-Improvement Self-Improvement, a journey most of us find ourselves on at one time or another. But sometimes we can also find ourselves struggling. Here are 12 tips for self-improvement. Why not give them a try? 1. Set your goals you need to always be looking forward in your life if you want to be successful in your personal development. If you aren't looking to the future, you become comfortable with your current situation and you will not grow or enjoy the benefits of self-improvement. 2. Become a highly disciplined If your desire is to be a high achiever in life, you must become highly disciplined to enjoy success. If you tend to be lazy and don't have a lot of willpower, you are headed for an average life. 3. Think positive. When you think positively you bring out your very best. It will reduce the negative self-talk that we sometimes find ourselves involved in. 
Positive thoughts let you see the world with rose-colored glasses. You see the bright side of life. You will find negative emotions like sadness fill far less of your day. 4. Exercise. Making sure you exercise daily does more than make you fit. It is a good way to distress and feel good. 5. Show gratitude. You need to show gratitude every time something good happens in your life. Doing this ensures you will receive even more good things. Gratitude is an amazing gift that you have right at your fingertips. Use it and watch your world grow. Consider keeping a gratitude journal and each day spend a few minutes writing down what you are grateful for. 6. Begin to create value. We tend to go through life putting very little value on anything. Once you start to want to create true value, you will see that you are improving yourself. When you do that, others appreciate you and you will be rewarded in some way. 7. Meditate. Meditation is a powerful tool that helps you to clear your mind, increase your happiness and decrease your negative thoughts. It's an important component in really changing your life. 8. Learn more. Take the time to study a subject you are interested in for 15 to 30 minutes a day. This increases your intelligence and boosts your confidence. 9. Take control of your thoughts. It is important for you to control your thoughts if you want to control your life. Make sure your thoughts aren't chaotic. Organize and get rid of the bad thoughts replacing them with positive thoughts that can empower you. This is a key part of self-improvement. 10. Organize yourself. Take the time to organize your day so that you aren't wasting time on activities that have no value and you can spend more time concentrating on what's important. Achieve success in your life using these three principles. We tend to make living a successful life more complicated than it needs to be. It's human nature to want to overcomplicate even the simplest concepts, because we can't seem to get how something could be that simple. We often maintain this ideal to stop ourselves from being successful. Sure, life is difficult and it can be hard, but that's how it was designed to be. Achieving success isn't as difficult as you might think, just use these three principles. Number 1 Begin with what you can control. If you are like most people, you spend too much time worrying about things that are outside of your control. These things cause you stress because you spend your day focusing on how terrible your situation is rather than how you can change your situation. For example, you can't control that you didn't exercise in the past. There is no value in wasting energy focusing on the past. Instead, learn from your mistakes and make changes. What you can control is how you react when those curveballs are thrown at you. Your mind is your most powerful tool. There is no quick fix. You need to be willing to do the time. Build upon a strong mental foundation and shape your world. Number 2 Intentionally develop a process to build momentum. Your developed mind is a tool to use to be proactive in attaining your goals. You can use it to develop a process to build momentum to reach your goals. Momentum can be tough to build, but there are countless rewards. The concept is easy, but the execution can be difficult. You will build confidence in yourself once you develop a process that works for you. This process will work no matter what goal you are trying to achieve. You build momentum by making you feel like you are a winner who can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Failure is not an option. Number 3 View the world using a value-based model. Strolling through life aimlessly is what will cause you to become lost. You can increase how effective you are by using a set of values to guide you. Everything you do should be guided by this value-based model. You don't want to get left behind because you are mediocre. You always want to give your most based on your value model. Implement these three fundamental principles into your life and begin to enjoy the benefits and the success. Bad habits you need to stop to improve your work life. You're on a self-improvement mission, good for you. But, before you make a big list of things you can do to improve your life, you should start by looking at the bad habits you need to stop. We all have bad habits and they can all interfere with us being the best we can be. We often feel comfortable doing the same things day after day, but you might not realize that some of these habits can interfere with you being productive and they can even have a negative effect on your work life. Number 1 Stop Smoking If you could inhale productivity like you inhale cigarette smoke, but we can't. What actually happens is your concentration will decrease after you have a cigarette and so will your productivity. Worse, if you are anxious for your next cigarette your concentration also falters. 
If you want to be more productive and live a healthier life, you need to quit smoking. Number 2. Make the right music choices. The music you would listen to during a workout is going to be much different than the music you listen to while you work. Choose music you like and enjoy and your brain will increase production of dopamine, which will make you excited rather than focused. So while you are at work, choose ambient music. Avoid music that you are familiar with where you will get distracted singing the words. Number 3. No more than 4 cups of coffee. Most of us love our coffee. When you know the right amounts of coffee to drink your brain will be stimulated by it, the areas of concentration, attention and planning can benefit with approximately 400 mg or 4 cups of coffee a day. However, if you drink more than that it can have the opposite effect and cause you to be irritable, restless and anxious. Number 4. Divide learning and working. If you want to develop and increase your skills, learning is vital. Learn what you can and put that to practice. However, you can't let learning interfere with working, as this will have a negative effect on your self-improvement. Instead, set aside times or days where learning will be your focus and then it will not interfere with your work. Number 5. Limit your rewards. You finish a task. You feel it was difficult and so you deserve a break, that's the reward you give yourself. While it might certainly be the case, but if you take one reward in the morning and one in the afternoon, that's it, no matter how efficient you are for the day. When you recognize your bad habits and turn them into good habits, you are well on your way to being more productive. Better yourself in just one week. Self-improvement can be hard work. No, let's rephrase that. It is hard work. It can take a year or a lifetime, which is why we tend to give up on ourselves. But what if you could better yourself in just one week? Good news, you can. Do these four things, it's an excellent start. Number 1. Become mindful of your topic. The more mindful you are about what you want to change in your life, the momentum you will have to make those changes. You can make yourself more aware of these changes you are working on by giving yourself small reminders. Shine light on what it is you want to get better at. Number 2. Be accountable. You need to be accountable to those around you as well as yourself. When you make yourself accountable you are much more likely to succeed at what you are doing. Let your friends, family, co-workers, social network friends, etc. know what your goal is, what you are trying to achieve. You will suddenly become much more serious about achieving your goal because you want to save face, prove to others around you. Number 3. Keep track of your actions in order to manage something you need to track it. How will you know if you are getting better if you don't keep track of your actions and your accomplishments? You should also track the days and hours you spend making changes in your life. This gives you information that can help you decide if you are being successful. Number 3. Repeat 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 you see that you are getting better, so why stop now? Take the strengths you've gained and weaknesses you've found and make your list. It's time to identify something else you want to work on. Perhaps this is the week that you are going to begin to train for a marathon. Perhaps this is the week that you are going to sign up for that digital photography class. Perhaps this is simply the week that you are going to focus on doing better by eating right and exercising daily. Whatever your choices for the following week, you should not be confident that you can achieve what you set out to do. Keep creating new goals and dreams. It will keep you moving forward and it will keep your life alive, growing, and revived. So what are you waiting for? Grow and improve 6 things to help you improve yourself. Are you looking to become a better you? Are you constantly looking for ways to improve yourself? Here are 6 things you can do to help you on your personal journey. Some are easy and others are more difficult. But we all need a challenge. Number 1. Learn a new language. Now is a great time to learn a new language. Pick one that interests you. Perhaps a country you dream of visiting one day. You will not only learn a new language you will open yourself to a new cultural experience. Number 2. Everyday read. Books are filled with tons of wisdom and yet they seem to be going by the wayside. Books can really enrich your life. Every day, pick up a book and read, whether it's five pages, a chapter or an entire book. Make reading a daily habit. Number 3. It's time for a new hobby. You might already have a favorite hobby or perhaps you've never had a hobby. Now's a great time to choose a new hobby and expand your horizons. Choosing a new hobby will stretch you in different ways. It can be mental, emotional or physical. Number 4. Take a new course. Learning something new is a great way to improve yourself. 
There are tons of courses offered and there's certainly something that will interest you that you would like to learn more about. The course could run a few weeks or a full semester. Taking a new course will provide you with new insight. Number 5. Create a room that promotes inspiration. Your environment creates your mood and the way you think. It will either inspire you or numb you. Create at least one room in your house where you can feel your inspiration bloom. You will find you love to spend time here. Number 6. Let go of your fears. We all have fears. The choice is yours whether you let them control you or you face them and let them go. Fear will keep you in the same place you are now. You will not be able to grow and move forward. If you have a fear relating to something, it means that you have yet to address it and grow from it. These six things can be done by anyone. You can all achieve them, and grow and improve from them. Are you ready to begin to change your life? How to build your self-confidence. Have you ever wished you had the confidence that someone else has? Have you ever wondered what their secret was? Why do some people build confidence with ease while others have a hard time? It is the age-old question. What if you could build the same self-confidence? The good news is you can. Are you ready to learn the secrets? Learn and improve if you want to build confidence, get better at something. Put your energy into building your expertise in a certain area. Not sure what you want to become an expert in? Consider where your strengths are and where your talents are. How many times have you said, I'm worthless, or, I'm useless, to yourself? Well, my friend, that is not the truth. Every individual is born for a purpose, and you just need to find it. It all starts with the thing you love to do. Is it painting, cooking, teaching, building objects or solving complex mathematical equations? No matter where your interests may lie, you can become an expert. All you have to do is persevere. The more you do something the better you get at it. Taking the first step is the most difficult, but it's important to take a leap of faith and find the courage to take that initial step. You will find the road ahead much easier. Practice and perfect, keep working at it. Your self-confidence will increase in no time at all. Set challenges and goals you can achieve to build your self-confidence. Number 2. We don't live in a perfect world We don't live in a perfect world so don't try to create it. We all make mistakes. Don't convince yourself that you won't make mistakes, because you are going to. If you aren't making mistakes, at least now and then, you aren't trying anything new. Don't be afraid of mistakes. Think of them as learning opportunities. Try to learn from those mistakes. Number 3. Always believe in you be comfortable in your own skin. It's the biggest boost you can give your self-confidence. What really matters is that you are okay with who you are. What others think really doesn't matter. You have the power to change your destiny. You should accept who you are strengths and weaknesses. Know your limitations. Strive to become better and you will. Number 4. Avoid negativity. Are you a glass half full or glass half empty person? Avoid negative thinking and look for the positive in situations. Try to avoid negative people too. You'll be much better for it. There you have it 4 ways you can build your self-confidence. How to think yourself beautiful. Your thoughts create reality. At least that's the belief of many experts and those who have experienced this know exactly what we're talking about. If you haven't yet experienced creating your reality, it's time you did. One of the areas that people have the most trouble with is manifesting their physical appearance, their beauty. This is especially true of women, who can have deep insecurities about their weight, skin, hair, etc. So manifesting yourself beautiful might seem impossible, but it's not. Sometimes we manifest ourselves in a physical way that's linked to an event in our past and we don't even realize we've done this.